Good day. Welcome Easy Striders, families and friends. Uh, this is uh, the workout. By now you should have done your uh, warm up. And here's some uh, uh, preliminary notes prior to beginning this workout. Uh, the workout is presented in a series of videos. Um, part one and part one is the warm up, which you already hopefully have done. Uh, part two is a dumbbell workout, segment A, and then there's going to be a, a balance work, and then there's going to be um, a dumbbell part two or segment two, and part five will be a cardio segment coming later. Uh, Equipment to have on hand. As you can see right here, I have a weighted ball or a Pilates ball. I have a five pound set of weights and I have another set over here, eight pounds. You can choose to have one and two pounds or three and four pounds, but I encourage you to actually have a couple sets of weights so you can switch between doing single joint activities such as the bicep curl or the kickback versus overhead press, which is elbow and shoulder joint, or doing squats. So when you're doing compound exercises or multiple joints, uh, try to uh, move to having a heavier weight. Uh, you should have a stable chair. You can notice right here, wide legs, stable back. All right, and I'll be doing some seated exercises, and then I'll be standing. We'll be alternating back and forth between seated and standing. So each time we stand or are seated, I'm going to call it a complex and we'll actually have anywhere from three to six exercises during each complex, whether you're going to be sitting or standing. Um, for the most part, I'll be doing 12 reps. I usually count on my head and then the last four I will count down. Sometimes I may miss it and go 13 or 14 or might only do 11. I apologize in advance. And as already noted, sandwiched between segment A and segment B of this dumbbell workout is workout using a ball. Pause the video at any time, take a break, get a drink of water. We're going to now begin. I'm going to move this ball. I'm going to um, uh, take my weights and start. So let's begin. Sitting nice and tall. I'll move my chair up a little bit. I may move it later on. So my feet are level on the floor, okay, just, just a shoulder width apart approximately. I'm standing tall, okay, and I have a neutral spine. My chin is level with the floor, all right, and I'm going to be occasionally looking at my notes in front here. So complex number one, you can use one weight or two weights, your choice. Here it is, straight up, overhead press. Four, three, two, one, and down. Take the weights, move them over to the other side, right here. Four, three, two, one. I'm switch the weights back. Again, using one weight or two weights, come forward a little bit, take your elbow, stick it in right here in that little fleshy part, and the weight is down here like this, full extension, arm is right long. Now you're looking ahead, okay, um, probably four or five feet in front of you, if you have a tall floor, five or six tiles. And you come up, it's called a concentration curl, you're working the bicep, it's a single joint activity versus the shoulder joint, which was two joints. Four, three, two, one. All right, again, elbow right here in this fleshy part right here, and you rest that hand here or like this, and you're looking five or six feet in front, and having a straight back. So that was complex number one, we were seated. And you work the shoulders, you work the biceps and the triceps. Now we're gonna stand up and I'm gonna move my chair back and forth. I'm gonna move around the chair. Typically if, you're, if I had more space, I'd just walk around the chair, but I'm gonna move my chair. So now we're gonna do squats. 
heels under your shoulders, chin level at the floor, shoulders down nice and relaxed. We're going to do a regular squat with weights over here. You don't need to rest on your legs, they're right here. Here it is, okay, and a little pressure right here. Four, three, two, one. Now I'm going to move to the side of my chair. I have to move it. I'm also going to move these weights. You can see them on the floor. It could be dangerous to me later on. And as well, I'm now going to switch to those weights. So I'll put them on the chair so they're not in the way. Pick these up. Okay. And I'm going to do shoulder shrugs. Bringing your shoulders towards your ears. Again, you should have shoulder width stance. I'm going to do this talking is sometimes when I actually forget to count. Four, three, two, one. Now switch and put one weight down or put two of them together. And this weight is going to want to pull you over like this, but you're going to stand nice and tall. I'm going to do something called a suitcase squat. The chair is here. If you need it, just to touch it. Go a little wider with those feet if you need to. Notice I'm touching the chair, but you don't have to. You can just go like this and put your hand on your hip. Four, three, two, one. I'm now gonna go behind my chair. Okay, and I'm gonna be doing heel raises. I'll come out front to show you. Just right here like this. Four, three, two, one. Okay. So now we're going to move over here and we're going to do a suitcase squat on this side. Again, the weight has moved over here now, the arms straight, uh, nice and tall, locked out right here, and we're going down. Four, three, two, one. Now you'll notice that I sandwiched in between each set of squats another exercise. So now we're going to do heel raises and shoulder shrugs, and then we're going to do another squat. So now let's combine the two of them, shoulder shrugs and heel raises. You can have your own music on in the background if you wish. Four, three, two, one. Now we're going to do goblet squat. You can take two weights and bring them in onto your chin with your elbows, arms, upper arms locked onto your body. If two weights are too heavy for you, just put one down. Let's begin. Feet shoulder width apart, toes turn out slightly, and a little pressure going to the outside rather than in. So you're going out. We're going to do 12. Let's begin. As you move through those squats, you should try to get a little lower all the time. I forgot to do the count. So we'll begin. Four. The count now. Three. Two. One. And relax. Put your weights down by your side. Now I'm going to move your chair in and we're going to sit on the chair to do another complex. I have to move these weights around. So you notice I had my heavier set of weights, my eight pounds, when I was doing the squats and the heel raises. 
Now the heel raises are only a single joint, but I was using a lot of muscle. I was using uh, my legs, upper legs, lower legs when I was doing the heel raises. Okay, and I was using my joint, hip joint, my knee joint, and my ankle joint when I was doing squats. So there were multiple, multiple joint exercises. So now we're going to do complex number three, seated exercises. Okay, I have a special name on these. Are called easy striders, four pushes. So you're taking your hands and you're pushing down and you're pushing up with your legs, doing a little heel raise and you should feel a little tightening right here. Okay, let's begin. You feel tightness in your core. Four, three, two, one. Now we're going to do easy strider number two. We call this three pushes. So you're going to do an overhead press straight up like this, and then you're going to push down and lift. It takes a little bit of coordination. So if you haven't done it before, I know my easy striders have. All right, here we go. So you push up here, push down and push up. Four, three, two, one. And now we do the opposite. Okay, let's begin. Four, three. Two, one. Now we're going to do Zootman curls. Z O O M A N, I think it is. Now, your arms are down here like this, and you're going to do a curl, and you're going to turn you're down here. So you're working your biceps and you're working your forearms. I'm going to turn sideways to demonstrate this using only one weight. Here it is. Now, right here. Up, turn, down for one. Turn, up, turn, and down for two. Now you can do them singly or you can do double. We're going to do doubles. Let's begin. Up, turn, and down for one. Turn, up, and down for two. Counting in my head. Sometimes I miss it. Four. Three. Two. One. Now we just worked the front of our, our the biceps and our arms right here. So now I'm going to do uh, work to tap right here. We're going to do tricep extensions, weight right here like this, or you can double it, sitting up nice and tall, put the weights behind you, bring it back as far as you can, and you reach to the ceiling. Sorry, I didn't count. Last one, and down. That completes complex number three. We're now going to stand up again. Okay, so take your weights, put them across right here. So if it's in the morning you're working out, you can call these good mornings, if it's the afternoon, you can call them good afternoons. Feet are shoulder width apart, all right, under your hips, Okay, your knees are slightly bent and you're going to go forward as you were doing in the warm-up and you should feel a stretch in the back of your legs and your hamstrings. Three muscles in the back of your leg, top part. Four. 
four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna do lateral raises. I'm gonna demonstrate from the side and, and the front. From the front first. Out like this, or like this. The weights are down by your pockets, nice and tall, hips up, and knees slightly bent. Let's begin. If you're in a big crowd, you may have to go sideways. And you look forward. Four, three, two, one. If you didn't notice, you're working your arms right here, the shoulders, the deltoids. Okay, now we're gonna do a Romanian deadlift. Weights are right here in front. I'm gonna switch up and go to a heavier weight. You can as well, if you wish, right here. Again, feet are a little apart and you're bending at the hips, your bum is going back towards your chair, and you're sliding down, okay, around your shins. Let's begin. Nice control movements. Three, two, one. Now, you can stay with the same weights or go lighter. I'm gonna go lighter because that's what I've been telling you. I'll put these down. Then we're gonna do front raises. Right here like this. Now you can go one arm like this, alternating for 12, or you can double up. Now you have a little, have a little tension right here in your abs. Feet are a little apart. Knees slightly bent. Let's begin. Four, three, two, one. You might okay to see me looking down when I'm just looking at my paper. Okay, now I'm gonna do something new. And I usually always have a new exercise every so often when I'm working with the easy striders in their group. You already know about rows, but today we're gonna to do something called Yates rows. So, I'm gonna put palm your hand out in front like this. You're gonna get down here like this. You're gonna look off on a distance and you're going to pull your arms back like this. Working back in the back of your arms. Four, three, two, one. And last one, upright rows. Elbows are going out and you bring this towards your chin. Keep it close to your body. Four, three, two, one. We're going to sit down again. That completes complex number four, and now we're going to do complex number five, and it's seated. So you'll notice I have you standing and seated. A lot of these exercises, you can do them all standing, but I usually like to try to break them up so to give you a break from standing up all the time. But if you wish, you can. You can do lateral raises, front raises, seated. Okay. Okay, complex number five. We're gonna do twists. So now the weights are resting on your shoulders and you're gonna turn left and right alternating. And not only are you gonna twist the spine, but your lower spine, but you're also gonna twist the upper spine. Okay, let's begin. So 
One, two, three, four. Count down. Four, three, two, one. And side bends. Breathing in and out as you go across. Generally, when you breathe, you breathe out on the exertion. Now I forgot to count. Four, three, two, one. Leaning forward, putting your forearm on your leg like so, and you're letting the weight hang down here on your fingertips, and you're just gonna curl up like this. But we'll do doubles rather than singles. And you're looking ahead five or six feet in front of you so that you're not having your head hung down like this. Let's begin. Four, three, two, one. Switch it over. Again, forearm is on the arm on the, your leg and your wrist is down and now you're coming up like this. So you're working the back of the arms, whereas before that you're working the front of the arms. Let's begin. Four, three, two, one. So those are single joint exercises. Now, you can keep the same weights or you can go higher. We're now going to do an exercise that's going to involve the elbow and the shoulders. It's called the Arnold Press. Okay, I'm going to put these weights down just to make the point because the other two exercises were single joint exercises. These are multiple joint exercises. So now, you can do these standing as you wish, but we're seated. Weights down here, this. You curl up, you turn, and you push up. Okay, that was the demonstration. Let's begin. One. Start to get tired. You can do less. Four, I think. Three. Two. One. So you'll notice how your elbow and your shoulders are working. So you're working the muscles here and you're working the muscles in your shoulders. But again, you had to sit nice and tall. That concludes complex number